We're here with Coach Lockdahl, who is starting his seventh season as Wayne State's cross-country head coach. Coach, onto the women's team now. You had a very talented group of runners last season and had a ninth place finish at the NCAA Championships in Seattle, which tied for the second best finish in school history. Um, it was also the best mark for your team since 2014. Um, after a season like that, but knowing there's still room to be even better this year, how can your team take that next step and exceed last year's performance? Uh, we've already started talking about this. Last year, uh, things came together really, really well for our women. Um, and uh, we really, uh, second in the GLIAC, third in the region, and ninth in the nation, all probably were as high as we could have conceivably finished. Um, they just performed at an extremely high level. Um, and that's going to be hard to replicate, but we do have a lot more experience uh, at those levels now um, with all those returning athletes. Um, so we talked about at our uh, camp a couple of weeks ago uh, being greater than the sum of our parts. Um, we don't have any individual national track qualifiers on the roster yet. Uh, we don't have any uh, All-Americans on the roster yet. Uh, hopefully those are, some, those are some things that we'll be able to accomplish uh, in the near future. Um, but we, we think we can be um, even better than we were last year um, by uh, having people come together as a team and being, again, greater than the sum mm -hmm. of our parts. And speaking of last season, um, so six of the seven runners who competed at the NCAAs are back this season. Um, you have just three newcomers, and two of them are true freshmen. What are your thoughts as to the experience of this group, and how can that help them moving forward? Um, yeah, we, we actually have a pretty experienced roster overall, um, and we've got some uh, uh, outstanding redshirt freshmen as well coming in, and some sophomores who didn't make our top uh, seven last year, uh, but some of those folks we think will be in the mix as well. They've had uh, great summers of training. Um, and. Those returners, we're, uh, we're pretty excited about what they'll be able to do um, this year now having that uh, high level experience from regionals and nationals and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And lastly, the women's team has the same five meets ahead of, ahead of the postseason as the men. Um, how will those prepare you for the postseason on the women's side? Um, it's similar to what I was saying on the men's side. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, uh, enthusiasm and excitement coming into the season right now. Um, and. Uh, the, the early season meets will really just get us ready for the, the mid-season big invitationals that we'll be going to at uh, uh, Roy Griak Invitational in Minnesota, as well as the uh, Lewis Crossover Invitational. Um, and those, both of those meets are on the schedule to help us get to the national championships and prepare us well for the GLIAC's regionals and nationals. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Coach. Uh, absolutely.